Today, we'll see some six million people receive a one-off disability payment of £150. Comes ahead of a so-called mini-budget this Friday, where Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng will lay out his plans to tackle the cost-of-living crisis for the rest of us. Here's Anna Riley, our Yorkshire and Humber reporter. It's been announced today that up to six million people will be given a £150 one-off payment if they have a disability to help with the cost of living. I'm joined by Anastasia Tempest. She's got cerebral palsy and she uses an electric wheelchair. Anastasia, how is this £150 going to help you and how have you seen your bills rise? Uh, the bills have been rising since... Um since February, uh, well, to be quite honest, since the war, as uh, you know, what's happening in Russia and U uh, Ukraine, what do you call it? Ukraine, um, since then, uh, you know, shot up to over five thousand pounds. And if, what I've had to do because I'm really, really worried. I mean, I have more more um, electricity going out. Um, the the most people because of the disability the the wheelchair electric beds uh, heating uh, the the washing machine the dryer in fact because I don't have any social care even though I I qualify for social care I can't get the support to ha have clothes hanging uh, get clothes hanging out and it's just very difficult. I've had to uh, contact one or two organisations, for example. Turn to Us is, a, is an excellent organisation. Um, there was um, one one particular charity uh, gave me a small grant, which I appreciate very much. And what I've observed, actually, in terms of the cost of living, the people that are very supportive are the independent charities uh, that tend to be supportive whereas uh, the government seems to be letting us down and uh, the people uh, with disabilities are getting a really 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 tough time and uh, the government haven't got a clue about the reality of what's happening uh, on the, the front line they should actually try and actually live my life I've sent a little um, message on on Twitter to uh, Liz Truss but as to whether she'll read it or not, I haven't got. I I don't know, but it, it's deeply frustrating. I'd, I mean, I need to have uh, money to be able to go out, for example, pop for a a, co a coffee, or you know, just to, I can't just be existing. Uh, to exist isn't isn't uh, very good. I need to try and live some life, and at the moment, I'm not living a decent life at all. And this £150, then, what do you think to it? Well, I mean, I appreciate the £150, of course I do, but it's not going to make a difference on... It's going to get lost, actually, the £150 in in a bill that's so well over £5,000. So it needs to be doubled. There needs to be something like a reduction in VAT or some special money that is put aside for, um, for electricity bills. I mean, forget eating. We need to sort out the heating first. Uh, I mean, sorry, oh, of course, eating's important, but, well, they, they're both important, but, you know, in terms of uh, fuel, that's the backbone to many situations, because if you haven't got, uh, if you haven't got fuel, then you can't um, prepare a meal. So, definitely a, a tough time. Thank you for, for sharing there. So Anastasia is of the view she appreciates that £150, but she thinks more needs to be done by the government and we'll certainly see later in the week on Friday what that mini-budget has mm -hmm. in store for us with the cost of living.